Hello everyone, back to shooting into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WFX Steady Model for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week dog for the UK and for Ireland. And this is going to get us into next year, into 2025, with this update. Do -do -do. We're about that though, in a moment. To say that first, the video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, got weekend forecast, and a 10 of 14 day with all our breaker features on the way. Later on today so please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and uh, thank you so much everyone for doing that for gas worthy thank you so much everyone and uh, thank you so much eshow at wf.int for supplying the charts of the data as well by the way so much easy um right i'm gonna start off with week one mean that sea level pressure anomaly take us through next week it's the 25th of november to the 2nd of December, with high pressure dominating across much of the Europe. Actually, big ridge there in the ascendancy. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic. One of the 500 millibar heights doing, they are showing above average heights. Oops, they show above average heights in the ascendancy as well. Large area of high pressure in control okay so temperature anomalies next week are very different to temperature temperature anomalies that we've had this week are going to be above average by about one to three degrees for ireland and southern parts of england and a rather <coughs> excuse me a rather drier than average week is likely as well Although, obviously, there will be some showers at times. Right, well, that starts us off. Let's go over to week two. That's the 2nd to the 9th of December. And uh, this one's looking mild. Low pressure is in the Atlantic there. High pressure declining to eastern and southern parts of Europe. And that brings the wind in from a southwesterly direction. So, becoming more unsettled, but stay mild. The 500 millibar heights... Again, with below average heights in the Atlantic, above average heights over and to the east of the country, and winds coming in from uh, the southwest there. Temperature anomalies above average for the UK and for Ireland as well. Uh, again, by about one to three degrees above normal, and precipitation wise, it starts to turn rather wetter from uh, the west as well so still mild but more unsettled right well week three <laughs> will be the night 16th of december for as a pancake low pressure is to the north and high pressure is to the south winds coming in from a flat westerly direction Look away now if you want a cold December. <laughs> 500 millibar heights with uh, low pressure in the Atlantic. The Azores high ridging from the Azores into uh, southern and southwestern parts of Europe. And a flat west to southwesterly flow. Temperature anomalies remain above average. Another mild average week to come by 1 to 3 degrees. And precipitation wise, looks rather wetter than average, especially to uh, the west and north in the Atlantic. Right, well, week 4 will be the 16th to the 23rd of December, running up towards Christmas. Here we go. And uh, we still see um, ridging in the Atlantic. Don't really show low pressure, but it's got to be some low pressure up here, so I imagine it's all just rather flat and westerly still. 500 millibar heights look like that, so again, we've probably got a ridge here from the, <coughs> excuse me, again, Atlantic into a Spain. Low pressure likes to be up there, and winds just coming in generally from a westerly direction. The temperature normally down. Temperature anomaly remains mild above average and precipitation winds um, largely on the wetter side as well. Let's have a look at Christmas then. Week 5 will be the 23rd to 30th of December. This is it. And a little bit more interesting. So we've got a bit more of a, of a mid-Atlantic type ridge there. 
Uh, I wouldn't necessarily get overly excited, but it could sort of uh, send the jet stream and wind flow direction into more of a northwest to southeast alignment, maybe. So it might start to turn a little bit cooler there as we run through the Christmas week. 500 millibar heights again, pushing or pulling, uh, high pushing, pulling, um, pulling the high pressure out into the Atlantic. And again, could be a northwest southeast alignment. <laughs> to uh, the jet stream and whatnot. The temperature anomaly is coming down. It's still on slightly on the above average side, if anything, but it's gradually perhaps reverting back closer to all. So there might be a bit of a cool trend there. And uh, no signal precipitation is too far out. Right, week six will be the first year of December to the 6th of January into 2025, into the new year. Here we go. And uh, all just looking rather <laughs> Atlantic driven still. Low pressure around Iceland. High pressures towards the Azores. So, I mean, just westerly. Uh, really not much to get excited about there. If you want some colder weather, 500 millibar heights look like that. Uh, again, a ridge is through here. Probably going to be some low pressure through there. Um, New Year continues to look Atlantic driven, relatively mild, slightly above average temperatures, and it going wetter again, if anything. Oh, <laughs> well, not the most exciting of updates, but never mind, it's only a snapshot. Um, things could look completely different when we look at this vault again. Uh, next week, of course, we'll be doing the um, extended European outlook with this model next Wednesday, and then uh, the uh, UK and Ireland focus video. I think we'll be next Friday. We'll be Friday next week. Um, no, uh, yeah, we'll see how it's looking uh, then, but that's how it's looking uh, today. We're going to be back uh, a little bit later on with your weekend broadcast, and we'll have 10 to 14 day coming up as well. So uh, please uh, keep checking back for more. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.